Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is the tabor here uh, by Jolin Lab. And I'm making this video because I'm selling it. Normally, I wouldn't make like a sales listing for a module, but I built this one um, from a kit I got from Jolin Lab. Uh, so I thought, yeah, I should probably show that it works and so on. Um, and like, you know, I'll show you the guts later too if you want to like uh, inspect my solder joints and so on. But, right, uh, it's this little delightful thing. It makes these chirps and whatnot. Can make a lot of different sounds. Right now it's clocked and like modulated and whatever by a pamps over up here. Uh, if we remove all the modulation, you can hear that it's like perfectly able to uh, be strange and whatnot on its own. Now it's also filtered through an angle grinder. If we uh, do it this way, you can listen to it. just the raw sound of the thing. This is a little bit the sound, well not modulated, uh, there's a lot of like weird spots on this, a lot of weird spots on this. Anyway, I've had this for three years now, and I thought it, it's probably time for me to explore other like parts of the Eurac ecosystem. So I'm selling it basically uh, to you know try some new ideas. Uh, and so, what is this? It's four oscillators, and they're all like cross-modulating each other to various degrees. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Something like reverse avalanche transistor configuration, which I do not understand. Uh, but like frequency uh, oscillator one, two, and four have like uh, knobs and CV inputs, but the third one has only CVs there over here. Uh, these are detailed in the manual, like they're good for different things. Some is like more of an uh, modulator, someone is more like a carrier. Uh, and we have two outputs here, they are like. Uh, Normal and then a little fuzzier. A little fuzzier output. Um, there's also like a trigger output which I had connected earlier to um, uh, low pass gain. There's uh, another input that's kind of interesting. I had this set up in the beginning. It's a choke input. So if I Put something in it like that, it just dies. This one's not connected, but uh, if we get a signal going, you see the triggers, makes it go. That's here, this one's slower. Um, and it's not like an, a VCA, it like, is here when I, uh, not this side, but, uh, it affects the signal in some strange ways. But it's a uh, go or not go, maybe. You could put like a voltage offset in there. Um, like so. 
Or can you? So, different voltages in this is like a little different character. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, and um, I don't know. That's uh, probably that's the guy. Uh, Let's unscrew him. I've been using this I forgot. There's one last thing. There's a morphogen in here. This guy. Uh, that I'm similarly uh, done with. Like, I've had this for even longer. I, I felt like I did all the morphogen things, probably. Uh, we can start them modulating this. Sounds like cooler, maybe. Uh, I mean, it's a working morphogen. Uh, get it if you want. Or don't. Uh, we can modulate that. This is frequency modulated by the tour.